I would like to take this opportunity to talk about two studies that were presented at national meetings in 2012 using the Savvy Breast Brachytherapy device. The Savvy device is a brachytherapy catheter that allows placement of radiation to a local tumor cavity following breast conserving surgery. The first study was presented in 2012 at the American College of Radiation Oncology annual society meeting. This particular study evaluated over 800 women and essentially reported on dosimetric outcomes, which are the details of the actual radiation dose delivery within the patient herself. Uh, the study is important because it highlighted the fact that the savvy breast brachytherapy device can sculpt radiation internally and while maximally covering the area that's at risk of harboring microscopic cancer cells, uh, the device also does an excellent job at minimizing dose to those normal, normal tissues that do not need to see uh, radiation, and the, these obviously include uh, the skin, uh, normal healthy breast tissue that's uninvolved, uh, the chest wall, um, and ribs, lungs, and heart. Uh, and this is extremely important because uh, to maximize the therapeutic ratio, to cover the areas that are at risk while minimizing healthy tissue really results in not only the best local control and tumor control, but also it minimizes treatment-related side effects. Uh, my study was presented at the National Consortium of Breast Centers annual meeting in 2012, uh, and I evaluated over 1,000 women and took the American College of Radiation Oncology study one step further and looked at clinical correlates to dose delivery. Uh, these 1,000 women had over two years of follow-up, and uh, over two years of follow-up uh, showed that the cosmetic outcome reported um, following savvy brachytherapy treatment for APBI or accelerated partial uh, breast irradiation resulted in excellent to good outcomes in over 90% of these patients. Um, again, I think it's important to highlight that these two studies together show that the savvy breast brachytherapy device allows not only maximal dose delivery to the areas at risk, but it also allows practitioners to treat more patients with uh, breast conserving surgery because of its ability to sculpt the radiation internally and uh, its ability to reduce normal tissue exposure, especially in areas of um, a thin skin bridge or in placement of tumor cavities near the chest wall. And again, ultimately the goal of our treatments are to maximize local tumor control in the breast and to minimize normal t healthy tissue exposure.